doing it correctly. Slideshow. Slideshow from the beginning. So can you hear me class? So term and classification of terms. When we uh, study uh, logic, uh, we begin with the uh, term, yung word or words. Then we go to uh, proposition, which are sentences. Uh, and then we go to inference, uh, which are, um, uh, for example, the reasoning process. No? So uh, it's just like uh, going to school. First, you don't uh, proceed to college uh, all at once. No? You begin with grade one, or, and then uh, you proceed to high school, and then later on to college. Yeah, terms and classifications. No? So in logic, we begin with terms. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by the word term? Term. Okay, okay. Na. Kung na ito siguro ang picture ko. Yan. So, okay na din dyan. So, term is a sign or representation of an idea or a concept. So, for example, we say a dog or a cat or a house. We use uh, that term. No? That represents the uh, idea of a house or a dog or a cat. It comes from the Latin uh, word terminus, which literally means the last element to which a proposition may be resolved. For example, you have a terminal illness, terminal cancer, or yung relative mo, no? It means end na, no? So, uh, it's a sign or representation of an idea or an idea of a cat. In logic, not all words are terms. Tandaan natin yan but only words that signify a concept or idea. Ano yung mga words na hindi tinatawag na cans, hindi tinatawag na term, no? Ito mga fig, uh, mga, mga parts of space na ito, adverb, no? Adverb of manner, adverb of time, adverb of place, always, sometimes, like that. Uh, prepositions, under, above, uh, within, without, conjunctions, conjunctions and, uh, but, and demonstrative pronouns, that, this, those, and then articles, a and the, these are considered words, not terms. So, medyo magkaiba ang grammar at saka yung logic because logic is another kind of discipline. That's why when logic uses the word uh, term, it is specific to words which uh, represent a concept or idea. Next, uh, we go to classification of terms, no? kinds of terms. First, terms according to exactness. Ano ba talagang tinutukol dyan? First, uh, or uh, first category dyan is univocal terms. Uni means uh, single, una, unum. No? Uh, unique meaning say one meaning lang are terms which are used in precisely the same sense or meaning in a given context no? so one sense na talaga no? uh, example rock it means stone just like the stone or the rock that hit the forehead of Goliath Yan. so when we say cell phones we mean uh, mobile phones no not uh, cell sites, no. So don't uh, don't confuse it. No? When we say kids, we are not referring to the kids of the goats, uh, but the children within the family. So univocal term, so that when we say something uh, in a conversation or in a debate, or when it comes to philosophizing, we uh, say what we mean and we mean what we say. And so that's univocal term. No? Then we have another term which is analogous. We need to say it's by analogy or by comparison. No? Uh, it's a kind of figure of 
speech. No? In our grammar, we have simile, metaphor, synecdoche, anthropomorphism, irony, etc. No? So these terms are used in a figurative way, not in a literal way. So anong halimbawa niyan? For example, we say the hands of the clock. Wala naman talaga hands yung clock na ganito eh. No? I have two hands. No? Or uh, ears of corn. Wala naman, wala naman talagang ears yung mais na yan. No? But uh, hands and ears here are used in, a, uh, in an analogous way. Or they are called analogous term. At the foot of the mountain or foot of the mountain. Ito mountain ito. Ang gandang mountain ito. Yan. Wala namang foot o dalawang um, feet yung mountain na yan. No? Uh, and uh, when we recite the Apostles' Creed, we say, uh, Jesus sat at the right hand of the Father. So, paano magkaroon ng right hand ang Father? Kasi spirito naman yan, hindi naman na physical patulad natin na may right hand tayo. So, these are figurative terms or analogous terms. Yan. So, kung poetic ka, uh, oftentimes you use analogous term no sabi mo um, my love for you is like a red red rose that's uh, that's new that's always new yeah like no similian and then we have another term equivocal term no equivocal ibig sabihin equal siya parang equation eh. x equals y yon pareho sila ng weight yan so dalawang meaning O dual meaning no? or multiple meanings. Kung minsan magkikita mo sa dictionary, mayroong meaning number one, number two, number three, number four. No? Talagang uh, ganyan naman talagang buhay natin. We use words. No? So, uh, are those which used in two or more different meanings. Example, light. No? We can mean uh, uh, opposite of heavy. No? Opposite of heavyweight na boxing champion na limbawa. O lightweight champion. Hindi mo pwedeng paawahin yung dalawa. Mamamata yung lightweight na boxer dyan. No? Uh, sa heavyweight. No? Or sabihin mo, light. Eh, ibig sabihin, ilaw. No? Give me light. No? Yan. Hindi yung give me sun mid light. <laughs> Iba rin yan. yan. So, uh, uh, equivocal term yan. Ibig sabihin, marami siyang meanings. No? Yan. Then, uh, the word star refers to a heavenly body a twinkle twinkle little star uh, or the star which means a movie uh, celebrity no? uh, stars ng martial arts in bawas yung Jackie Chan yung Bruce Lee or stars natin dito sa Philippines no? yung Fernando Po or uh, uh, mega star yan or when we say mass, no, if it is in capital, it means the holy mass or the Eucharist, the body and blood of the Lord. Or when we say mass, na hindi naman capital, it means quantity, no, or the number of matter. No? Sabi natin yung uh, yeah, mass of uh, mass of people, no? yeah, masa, <laughs> masa. Uh, daming meaning yan, no? so. Sa uh, grammar, mayroong mass noun, mayroong count noun. Yun. So, we have the analogous term, the univocal term, and the equivocal term. Okay, next. We go to the next one. Terms according to comprehension or its meaning. Uh -huh. So, ano ito? Positive terms are those which express an affirmation of a particular thing. Positive siya, hindi siya negative. No? Example, service to mankind. So, nakita nyo, class, um, this is uh, composed of uh, three, three uh, words. Pero, tawag dyan na term. Yan. It can be a subject term or predicate term. Dedication to one's duty. Positive dedication. Love of oneself. No? Yung negative term yan is hate. Hatred for oneself or negative uh, term ng service is disservice or love of neighbor, hatred towards uh, your neighbor. Negative term yan. Ang positive love of neighbor. Itong negative naman, 
are those that express the absence or negation of a thing. Usually, uh, in our um, English language, we use the uh, the uh, prefix. No? Pre means before. No? Uh, sa positive na word na kind, mabait, we use the um, prefix un, unkind. Sa positive na word na mercy or merciful, uh, may suffix na full dito, full of mercy, nilagyan ng un, unmerciful. So that becomes negative. Unreasonable, inconsiderate. Yan. So, positive terms and negative terms according to comprehension. We have the complex terms are those which have more than one word. For example, uh, the president of the Philippines, okay, Duterte, mayor of Bacolod City, mayor of Ding Dinardia, governor of Negros. Then we have the privative terms. Um, it excludes others are actually negative terms that denote the absence or a perfection in a being that ought to have what it does not have. For example, uh, we people and uh, animals should have the sense of sight, but blindness is the absence of the sense of sight. So deafness is the absence of uh, hearing, muteness, no? the absence of uh, of um, the faculty of speaking or sickness, the absence of health. Yan. So, so far, uh, so good. Understood? Now we go to the abstract terms. Abstract, ibig sabihin parang idea lang. No? Conceptual. Opposite niya is concrete. Sabi mo, concrete wall. <laughs> babangga mo ang ulo mo dyan. Um, katawan mo dyan, babangga dyan. Eh. Abstract terms are those which express abstract ideas, concepts. No? Uh, you cannot, um, you cannot call it. They are intangible. The word tangible means to touch. No? So, for example, mayro akong table dito. This is concrete. But what makes a table a table? No? It's tableness or chainness or metalness. Or uh, be known. what makes a thing beautiful? Yeah. So those are uh, abstract terms. No? And then we have the simple terms, those which consist of a single word. Mother, no? sister, cat, cow, house, man, woman. No? Simple terms. No? Yeah. We have the relative terms, which are uh, terms wherein one cannot be understood without the other. Anong itong halimbawa nito? Mother. No? You cannot be a mother without the child. Yan. Teaser. You are not a teaser if you, are, if you have no students. No students. Boyfriend. No? How can you become a boyfriend? How can you be called a boyfriend kung wala ka ng girlfriend? A master. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, next, uh, the third uh, category here, according to opposition, uh, opposed, uh, adversary. Contradictory terms are terms which are so opposed, no? nagkabanggaan sila, no? to each other in terms of their meaning so that when we accept one of the terms, we have to reject the other. No? Kasi positive dito, negative dito, ano yung ina-affirm dito, dini-deny dito eh. Yeah. So, Contradictory term. Hindi no? ba? Absence. Present. Absent ka sa klase mo, ibig sabihin, wala ka rito. Hindi <laughs> naman pwede. Absent, present ka at the same time. So, impossible naman yan. True or false or trolls yung answer mo. Mali ka. Mali ka. Uh, Mamalihan ka ng teaser mo. Or hindi naman ba? Is abortion right or wrong? Walang kabuhang muwang yung bata sa chan. No? Yan. Uh, at saka life ng tao yan. Mayroong immortal soul yan. No? Therefore, abortion is wrong. Yeah. So, contradictory term. Then, we go to contrary terms. No? Our terms like contradictory, we will later on uh, go to the square of opposition. Mayroong contrary dito sa uh, kabila. No? Like, uh, left and right sila dyan. Yung naka-diagonal dyan is contradictory. We will later on know about it no but uh, for the meantime uh, we just define this 
are terms like uh, contradictory terms since they too are opposed but uh, opposed to each other in terms of their meaning but admit middle ground or possibility for their relation. No? So, ibig sabihin, mayroong neutral dito. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Example, pro-life. No? For life. So Anti-life. No? Pero mayroong middle ground. No? Parang buto-buto yan. Eh. May iba nagbuto no, may iba nagbuto yes, may iba abstain. <laughs> neutral. Yeah. Easy or hard. No? Just like, uh, for example, uh, logic. It's a very hard subject. No? It's just like a mathematical uh, precession. No? In fact, many mathematicians now are using symbolic logic. No? Uh, sa mga computer, uh, may logic talaga dyan, you know? Yung, sa programming dyan. Uh, it's very, very hard. No? But it can be made easy if the teacher makes it easy. No? But at the same time, there's a normal ground na hindi naman sobrang easy na nakatulog na yung mga estudyante, hindi naman gumagawa ng assignments, o they learn nothing at all. No? Uh, kawawa naman yung parents, nagbabayad. Tapos, kawawa naman yung estudyante, the student learns nothing. So, mayroong middle ground, easy and hard. So, middle lang yung, um, mid lang yung hardship niya. Uh, but, you know, class, uh, what in tinatawag natin, there is no glory without guts. No guts, no glory. No? There is no uh, great success without great sacrifice or great suffering. And just like the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ. No? Supreme sacrifice. Uh, but there is the supreme glory of the resurrection and uh, being seated at the right hand of the Father. Now let's go to the paradoxical terms which I have mentioned uh, uh, before I give a formal lecture here, are those that seem to be contradictory, seem to be opposed to each other, yet they are combinable or reconcilable. Example, yeah. Consistent inconsistency. No? Ano ibig sabihin niya? Ibig sabihin na itong parang ito. No? Kung magsinungaling, eh, consistent talaga. Mula sa umpisa hanggang sa huli, consistent na sinungaling. Yan. Yeah consistent inconsistency or consistent sa siya, sa rightful living no kung anong sinalita niya yun ang ginagawa niya yeah. bodily uh, present but mentally absent you can be present in a meeting physically but mentally absent iba yung iniisip mo yan so nakikinig sa or oh, present ka sa logic class pero <coughs> Uh, iba yung iniisip mo, the next subject na. O kung iba ibang iniisip mo. No? He who wants to be great, Jesus Christ said, must be the servant of all. Great ka, pero servant ka of all. Totoo yan, sinasabi ni Jesus Christ. He who wants to find his life, he must lose it in me. Yan. Actually, the greatest mysteries of our uh, Christian faith are found in paradox. Isa ang Diyos, pero tatlo ang persona. Yan. Paradoxical, no? Hindi yan, hindi yan contradiction. Kasi we didn't, we didn't say isang persona na Diyos, tatlong persona din. Hindi, hindi natin sasabi niyan. Isang persona, pero isang uh, nature of God, pero tatlong persona. Paradoxical. No? They seem to be contradictory, but they are not. Okay? So, uh, so far, plus, do you uh, get what I mean? So terms pa lang tayo, no? And then we go to, we go to, um, ano na naman? Proposition. No? So that um, you will be able to answer uh, your assignment. Okay? Do you have any question class? Any question or objection? Your honor? Okay, wala naman. So let's proceed. Propositions. Propositions ito. Parang sabihin na, nag-propose ka na, will you marry me? <laughs> Proposition. Um, statement actually. No? Pero not all, not all sentences are proposition. We will uh, see by and by. No? Just like, not all words are terms. When we, uh, when we are into uh, philosophical uh, logic or study of logic. 
So definition muna, no? What is a proposition? A proposition is a sentence or statement which affirms or denies something. Uh, sa labas na naman natin dito ang ating uh, picture. Ito yung picture natin. Hindi na. Hmm. So, uh, which affirms or denies something. No? So, example, uh, you say, Maria is beautiful. So, Maria is a woman, and then uh, the affirmation is that she is beautiful. No? Not only beautiful outside, but also beautiful inside. Mabait. Yeah. So, or if you say, uh, Maria is ugly. Of course, narakayan naman sabihin yan. No, but uh, that word ugly is a uh, denial of uh, the beauty of Maria. Pero proposition yan. Both, uh, say, both uh, statements yung may sabi, Maria is beautiful or Maria is ugly. Or if you say, Maria is not ugly. No? Double negation yan. Ang ugly, negative. Ang not is negative. So, negative times negative, positive. Not ugly, ibig sabihin, beautiful pa rin. <laughs> Yan ang uh, technicality ng uh, uh, logic. Eh. Now, something affirmed or denied. Uh -huh. Yan yun. Yan yun. Uh -huh. Okay. Kung nga natin itong picture nito. Aha. Uh -huh. So, Yan. Is either simple existence of a subject as in God exists and the Titanic, the ship of the both Titanic is long gone. So attribute. Uh, attribute. Uh, Bagu is cool. Big sabihin. Ang Bagu now is having frost. Eh. Yung report yung gabi. Yung mga tanim nila. Unti-unting na, na mamatay because of ice. Talagang very, very uh, cold. Eh. Uh, may global warming ba o global cooling? <laughs> now, <clears throat> or a relationship or connection. If you study well, then you will pass this course. Not only that, if you study well, you will have high grades and you deserve it. Yeah. Just like, for example, a teacher is uh, exerting much effort to teach his students, so, uh, transferring the knowledge that he has or expertise expertise that he has to the students, so that teacher deserves also uh, recommendation no? or uh, uh, good evaluation. Yeah. Not of course failure. Kasi failure yan, ibig sabihin, tamad, hindi na nag-lecture yan. So, palaging absent. Yeah. So, the affirmation or denial of something is either true or false on the basis of its relation to fact or reality. Sabihin mo isang tao, Ang tao ay magnanakaw. Proposition di yan. He is a thief. Pero kailangan i-prove mo that person has stolen something. Cellphone or bag or anything. If not, then you are committing libel. You are defaming the person. You are, um, you are embarrassing the person publicly. Uh, whether in oral form or in written form. Like that. Yan. May rating. May kasalanan yan. You can be imprisoned or you can be fined. Uh, with a kind of uh, a kind of uh, wrongdoing. Thus, one basic characteristic of logical proposition is that it expresses truth or falsity in whatever judgment it makes. So the assertion or denial and the element of truth or falsity are two reasons why all propositions are sentences, but not all sentences are propositions. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Sabi ko, sir, ang sirap naman yan. Oh, don't panic. <laughs> Nandito naman si Sir no, to explain that. Um, propositions are sentences. Pero there are four kinds of sentences na alam natin sa grammar. Eh, no? Mayroong declarative sentence. Pasike, yan ang uh, statement. No? Mayroong imperative, yung command. Go. Go home. Sleep. Go to sleep. Yan. Hindi yan proposition. Imperative or command. Yan. Hindi yan proposition. Or Interjection, exclamatory mark, you say, uh, OMG, <laughs> oh my God, oh gosh, 
that is not a proposition or question halimbawa what is your name where do you live that is not a proposition a proposition ay declarative sentence not question not interjection not command or not wishes yon commands study your lesson wishes i doubt i will beat the deadline for your article no 10 minutes lang no and then yun, in the current slide and then in other words only declarative sentences which could be either true or false on the basis of their assertion qualify as propositions in the words of aristotle Aristotle is the father of logic. Now let's go to the kinds of proposition. There are four major kinds. No? Now proposition. Categorical. It's a very major uh, uh, yung truthfulness or falsity itong statement na ito without any having condition. Yeah. Uh, its truth or falsity is based on its own content, not on the content of any other statement. Its basic structure is made up of three elements. Tatlo, no? Parang grammar ito, no? Mayroong subject, term, mayroong cupola, or the linking verb, or the auxiliary verb, is or is not, no? Then the predicate term, which describes the subject term. Yeah. So, example, John is tall. John is the subject term. Is is the copula, copula. So helping verb or the linking verb, it links the subject and the predicate. And tall is the predicate term. Term ito kasi uh, this represents concept. Yeah. So whether no, is good. The uh, subject and whether good ang um, uh, predicate. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Conditional proposition. By the word condition, uh, it means there is, uh, there is a statement beforehand, no? So the conditional proposition is a kind of proposition which makes an assertion but qualified by a condition. Structurally, it is a compound proposition. So it's a simple no? compound made up of two simple categorical propositions. So arranged that the first component states the condition while the second states uh, the consequence. Condition in consequence. Example, if you, if you, uh, um, work hard, you will become successful. Yeah. Ang if niyan dyan, condition yun. So, one uh, statement lang yan lahat. So, it is called conditional proposition. Yeah. If the weather is fine, then we shall go to school. Of course, kung hindi fine, unless uh, 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 signal number three na yan, you still need to go to school. Yeah. If your mother approves, then I will go to the dance floor with you. So uh, we go to the disjunctive uh, proposition. It's the type of proposition which presents two or more alternatives. When we say alter, alter means other. One of which is true. Example, either or. No? You are either, um, you are either uh, asleep or awake. Yeah. So you are uh, either taking up engineering architecture or medicine so isa dyan, uh, true, no? so either we have a national language or we do not national language natin is filipino tagalog is just a base no? so ang mga basis din natin dyan is uh, hiligaynon subwano combination just like yung bahasa indonesia is not just one uh, uh, dialect it's composed of all other dialects in indonesia now the fourth is conjunctive uh, proposition. Conjunctive, no? Um, is the kind of proposition which presents two alternatives therein which cannot be true simultaneously at the same time. No? Kasi opposite sila eh. No. Uh, she cannot be single and married. Kung single ka, hindi ka married. Kung married ka, hindi ka single. Yeah. Unless naman tayo yung sawa mo o husband mo, pwede ka mag-marry ulit. Pero, ang tabag sa'yo, uh, is uh, single ka na naman. Kasi namatay na yung uh, husband mo or wife mo. You cannot be a caring mother or an uncaring one. Conjunctive proposition. So, uh, note, with regard to falsity and truthfulness of propositions, the following must be taken into account. If the relation of the subject and predicate is unchangeable, the proposition is considered necessary proposition. Necessary 
So, ibig sabihin niya, this is uh, uh, really uh, mandatory. No? For example, a triangle has three sides. This is sorry yung three sides. Kasi kung four sides na yan, hindi yung triangle. <laughs> Square mo yan. No? Or, uh, uh, pag lima na yung sides na yan, pentagon na yan. Kung walo, octagon. Okay? Uh, a dog is an ira irrational animal. Ibig sabihin, wala silang reason. Mayroon silang instinct. Wala ka naman nakita na dog na nag-aral sa University of Kings of Sally. Uh, nagkukuha ng logic. Mahirap yan sa kanila. It's against their nature. Contingent proposition are those having changeable relations, uh, relations between subject and predicate. Uh, the predicate is only accidentally related to the subject. For example, Filipinos are hospitable. This can change. Filipino can be inhospitable. Yan. It is raining in Bacolod. This can change also. Kasi contingent siya. Eh, no? uh, hindi siya necessary. Uh, it might be that it is sunny in Bacolod City. Yan. Accidentally, uh, and the word accidentally means hindi siya essential. Uh, kundi uh, by, uh, uh, by uh, the change of time, place, and circumstance. Okay. So, <laughs> Uh, that's all for today, class. Um, do you have any clarification or uh, any um, question? Stop share, great. Huh? Okay. Yeah. So, did you understand our discussion today? So, um, kailangan pag gumamit ka ng term, clear yung term. Huwag huh? kayong paasa, huwag yung pa-assume, assume. No? Sabihin mo, mag-shoot na ba tayo? <laughs> Sabihin mo yes or no, you affirm or you deny. No? O baka sabihin mo, akala ko mag-shoot na tayo, hindi pala. No? Pinaasa mo yung isa, no? kawawa naman yung isa, no? iniwan. No? So when we uh, do our, uh, our logical uh, thinking, which is the process of correct uh, reasoning or correct thinking, we should uh, be specific in our terms, whether they are univocal or equivocal, like that, or our propositions uh, should also be clear so that everything is clear. Hindi pwede yung I talk about uh, potato, you're talking about bananas. Hindi naman pwede yan. No? Iba yung pinag-usapan ko dito, iba rin yung pinag-usapan mo. Hindi tayo magkaintindihan yan. No? Okay. So, um, now, Tricia Maolion, did you understand well our lesson? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So um, I think we, we, we will stop here, no? So um, uh, thank you for listening and thank you for your kind uh, uh, attention, no? Let us pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Leave Jesus in our hearts forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, plus, thank you very much, and um, God bless everyone.